Hey folks, Chaz here. I uh, wanted to show you guys a little project that I think is pretty cool. It's a refrigerator magnet. But it's not your ordinary refrigerator magnet. It has uh, one of these guys. Um, it's a rare earth magnet. This is a one half inch diameter uh, by one eighth inch thick. And this thing is extremely strong. One of my complaints about refrigerator magnets is that they just don't hold anything. They'll start sliding down the refrigerator as soon as you put something, uh, stick something heavy up there. So um, decided to turn up some, some super strong ones. Now this is the one I'm gonna turn today. It's just a little mushroom shape. Uh, you can make this with uh, leftover bits of wood, pieces from uh, pin blanks and so forth that you don't need. Um, or in the case of uh, this piece of wood, it's, it was cut for a pin blank, uh, but the mate had a big wormhole in it and I couldn't use it. So, so this is a nice piece of uh, ash, kind of a root burl, with a little spalting. Should make a nice looking uh, refrigerator magnet. Um, so we'll get started here. Um, you'll need uh, a little super glue and some accelerator. Uh, this would be either for repairing little holes and pockets in the, in the blank itself um, and then ultimately for gluing the magnet into the mushroom. Um, I'm going to finish with uh, Mylans today. Just a little friction polish. Quick and, quick and simple. So we've got a paper towel for, for that. And then uh, we're also going to need uh, a rubber glove and a pair of scissors. And I'll show you uh, what we're gonna do with that here shortly. So I'm gonna turn this uh, with just a, a 3 8 inch detail gouge. You don't need to have any uh, fancy tools or anything for this particular project. Uh, you will need to work near the headstock. So you wanna be very careful while you're doing that. And, oh, the other thing that we're gonna need, Jacob's chuck and a half inch drill bit. And this would be for making the hole in the end where we're actually mount the magnet. So let's set this aside. And the first thing we'll do Okay, that looks like it's running good. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just rough this into the basic shape. Uh, we'll knock the corners off of it and get sort of the basic mushroom shape. Uh, and then we'll drill the hole in the end. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll finish the, uh, the bottom, uh, the stem of the mushroom. So we'll do a little uh, sanding here. I think I'll zoom in just a little bit. Get a little more detail here. Okay, so I've got some sandpaper, uh, 220, 320, 400. I just staple them together so they, uh, they're not too hard to keep track of.
right? So we've got that sanded to 400. And now I am just going to true up the end ever so slightly. Okay. And I'll knock that corner off. Okay, looks good. So I'll bring up the tailstock. Got my half inch brad point. And I'll slow the, the lathe speed down. Now, just to keep that bit from wandering, I'm gonna put just a little downward pressure on it, just to hold it in place. All right, I think I need just a little bit more. Okay, that should be perfect. I like to use a uh, brad point bit here because it makes a little recess in there where this part of the, the bit goes in. And that's nice, it gives the air some place to go when I press the magnet in. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty tight fit, so. All right, so real quick, we'll do a little uh, Mylans. Just need, a, just need a drop or so on there. And we burn that in good till you feel the heat or see smoke. I don't put it in the recess, I leave that raw wood. Right. So there we got a nice shine. And now what I'll do is form the top. Again, be careful working so near the headstock, especially with pin jaws on your on your chuck. This doesn't have to be perfect, and I'll explain why in a second, but you want the shape to be about right, but you're not too worried about the finish. All right, so we'll go ahead and park that off. Okay, so now I've got the basic mushroom shape and the cap as you can see the cap here is rough but I have the basic uh, shape of the mushroom so the mushroom shape is nice because it gives you the ability to pull it off the uh, refrigerator uh, as that magnet is, is really strong okay so now you can see here I've got a little recess uh, this will be a nice place for the air to go when I press the, the magnet in so here we go, we'll do it. Uh, I've kind of learned a, a little trick here. So I'm gonna take super glue and got my, let's back this up here. I've got my uh, accelerator ready to go here. And check your fit. This is it's a little looser than I would want it to be, so I'm going to use an extra shot of glue here. So go ahead and put your glue in. A little accelerator on the magnet. Flip it over. 
and shove it in there. Wipe the excess off. Another little shot of accelerator. And that should be ready to go. Okay, so now we just need to doll this top up a little bit. And the way I do that, go back to the piece that's in the lathe. True that up. Drill another hole. Okay. All right, I think that's going to work. So I'll, you need to make sure that you have south to north, not north to north. So you orient it using your, your, your magnet here. And then we're gonna just put a wee little bit of glue in there and put our second magnet in our stock there. And now in order to provide a little drive friction, we'll take our rubber glove This is a nitrile glove as opposed to a vinyl glove or uh, any other plastic, but it should work just the same. So you've got a little piece of uh, something there to give you some friction to allow you to drive it. There you go. So now we can do light sanding. This thing is not going to take a lot of pressure by any means, but it will allow you to sand something that is otherwise unsandable. If it, uh, if it hops around, don't fret. You can just steady it with your finger and get it back to center. It's not going to take a lot of pressure, but if you're careful with the way you sand, you'll be able to put a nice sanding coat on it. And then we should be able to put a little friction polish on it. All right, so we just need a little a couple of drops here. And if you press toward the headstock, You should be able to build up enough heat to polish it up. All right, so it comes off of there, finished. All right, so there's the uh, little mushroom refrigerator magnet, and uh, I'll uh, I'll shut the camera off, take it over to uh, my, my metal door, and I'll just give you an idea how strong this guy is. All right, so I'll see you over there in a second. Okay, so we've got it turned, and now we're ready to try it out. So uh, got the, the magnet that we just turned with the half inch by one eighth inch rear earth magnet. You could use one tenth inch too. These things come in all different sizes. Um, so now I've got a <clears throat> Smithsonian magazine here. It is a uh, real magazine with all the pages. So let's just take it over to the metal door here in my shop. This will have to pass for the refrigerator door. So I've got our magnet and uh, stick that guy up there and you'll see it, it holds the entire magazine without any trouble. Um, might even hold another one 
I just haven't done that. So, uh, so you can find the magnets online. Uh, just do a Google search for rare earth magnets uh, surplus, and there are several companies out there that have these things. You can buy them 100 at a time, you can buy them 50 at a time, you can buy them 10 at a time. Uh, eBay is another option, so you can look out on eBay and, uh, and find them in bulk. So turn up some refrigerator magnets and uh, let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching.